here we are yeah. at Shiki Menya. I didn't actually think we would be able to come here. The restrictions have tightened down again. We're sitting outside. It's freezing cold, but if there's going to be a time where you're going to want to eat in the cold, it's when you're having ramen. And the best ramen in Calgary is here. I don't care what anyone says. It's awesome. And so here we are in Bridgeland on a Saturday morning. And it's the new Shiki menu. We've never been to this one. Yes, this is their new location, which is right across the street from their old location. <laughs> oh, funny enough, but um, still really cool. I do still want to stop by at the end. Maybe we'll do a bit of a tour of the First Avenue Corner store. We've never been in there. I usually get the Tonkatsu Black, <laughs> which is like a flavor bomb, but amazing stuff. And then Chris usually gets the simple Tonkatsu uh, pork soup. So. The tonkatsu black that I usually get has what they call a garlic bomb <laughs> and it's got squid ink and a ton of garlic. It's the most flavorful thing I've ever had in my life. <laughs> this is the char su masubi. Mm. Wow. That's nice. Oh, really, really good. Mmm. Mmm. Nice flavors. Wow. I like that a lot. A lot of neat flavors in there. Wow. Yeah, awesome. These are huge. Cool. I like that's. Not crunch. Mm. Mm. That's better than I was expecting even. Wow. Okay, here we go. Chicken karage. Mm. Wow. Yeah. About flavor. And the most perfect crunch ever. Like, wow. Come on an adventure with me as we discover why this is called the grilled cheese. Look at this piece of cheese that's grilled. <laughs> oh, and then this little egg here. Oh my god. All right, let's take a bite. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is unlike anything I've ever eaten before, like that's the weirdest bite of food I've had in a long time, weird in a very good way though, let's try another bite. Mm. 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 The amazing thing about this place is they hand make their own noodles. And everything is so good. The, this char siu is the best thing ever. Mm. Get out of here. <laughs> it gets better every time. Okay. That is different. I, I, <laughs> my taste buds can't sort it out. Am I under attack? I, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm freaking out, man. Um, that's spicy. You like that? It's good. It's keeping me warm. Mm. That is different. I, I have to say, I love my classic. Shiki menu bowl, but whoa, that is if you want a flavor explosion, overload, overwhelming, whatever. Wow, this place is blowing my mind. Mm. 
Oh, my glasses are all fogged up. All right. How was that first taste? No. Oh, homemade, pure. Mm. There's nothing like that char siu. Nothing. Mm. It's soft and salty and just. I'm rarely lost for words, but. I don't know. It, there's nothing like it. It's amazing. This is the closest there is to a real life soup Nazi place where you have to go and there's only so many bowls and then they're done for the day and they're only open three hours a day. Really cool place. One thing to know make sure you order just enough to eat because they do not have to go boxes. No to-go boxes. They do things their own way and I respect that. We'll take a Wagyu sandwich to go if we could. Uh, and then the katsu sando, the pork one, please. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, hey, we're happy to be here. Thanks for having us. It's awesome you guys ate next door too. Okay, so we're back from the First Avenue Corner Store, a really neat little place. We've got a couple sandwiches from the First Avenue Corner Store that we're excited to try out. We've also got a couple of drinks here. We've got the pinkest drink of all time. This is Mountain Dew Major Melon. I've got Stoke Cold Brew Coffee. Mm. Um, this is a mocha flavor. So what Chris has is the Wagyu Menchikatsu Sando. Mm. I've got the OG Katsu Sando, uh, Sando, and this is pork that I've got. You can get it pork or chicken or mine. So okay. I got pork. This is the coolest. This is what I love about these types of sandwiches. Look at this bread. It has no crust. Why is there not more no crust sandwiches in the world? Why do the Japanese know everything and do everything so much better than Well, the else? Japanese are awesome. I'll give you that. Whoa. Whoa. That is so unique. It looks great. You want to talk about a sandwich that has too much sauce? <laughs> no, there's no such thing no as too such much thing. sauce. No such thing. No. This is enough sauce. Every single other sandwich I've ever gotten, I was like, I really wish there was more sauce. I cannot say that about this sandwich. Like, look at this thing. It looks great. It is beautiful. Amazing flavor. Very unique. The bread is so soft and the pork is still very tender. It's not dry in any way. Really, really good. And they do, they mm. did fry up that pork cutlet fresh when we were there. That's different, huh? Mmm, that is amazing. Yeah. That is, without question, the greatest mouthfeel I've ever had in a sandwich. Yeah. It's not even a question. It is so soft, it's like eating a cloud. Definitely. Like, it's just pillowy soft. Both the bread and the meat were just, like, melt in your mouth. Yeah. Uh, that is... And it's wow. not, a, it is not a fatty piece of pork. Like, it's no. an actual, it's a very lean piece of pork. But you get that contrast of the breading on there and the soft bread and the awesome sauces. Awesome sauce. Awesome <laughs> sauce. I believe these are the spicy Cheetos, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, looks like it. They look red. Um, Chris and I are not spicy people. Okay, well let's have a let's, let's have a che one. let's have a Cheeto here. Oh, Just they... for fun. Cheers. Oh, the, the spice comes in. Yeah, <laughs> it takes its time. That's funny. I took a bite and I was like, it's not spicy. Yeah. And then I finished it off. It's not intensely spicy. No. Right. But it's got okay flavor. It sits there like a snake in the grass though. Yeah. Like, okay. It's coming more. Oh, you jerks ready more. yet? <laughs> Are these jerks cocky yet? It's totally oh, <laughs> <laughs> So this is Wagyu beef allegedly, which is the greatest beef in the world, which is of course Japanese. Yep. Okay, look at that. It's the same mouthfeel. Incredibly soft. It's going to make it so if you ever have another sandwich, you think of this one. Mm -hmm. Very unique flavors mm -hmm. for something that's so simple. I definitely prefer the pork sandwich. Mm. What do you think? Actually, I do like the pork a bit better. Yeah, they both have the same mouth feel. Well, they both have great sauce and plenty of sauce. Mm -hmm. They both have this nice sort of coleslaw mix, I think it yeah. is. 
and it doesn't feel like an afterthought or a filler. Like it actually is pretty important it's in there. It's contributing. Yeah, yeah it, absolutely. It, it does give it a great crunch. It really freshens up the sandwich. Yeah. I'm seriously never going to forget these sandwiches as long as I live. Yeah. Like anytime I ever have a sandwich, I'm going to be like, how does this compare to the First Avenue corner store? Yeah. I, I, like I'm serious. It's beyond compare. We don't have sandwiches like this in... Canada. It's quality over quantity is what Absolutely. this really is. We've watched a number of YouTube videos about people in other places of the world, parts of the world like Japan, mm -hmm. where they're eating bread like this. And you think, well, that, you know what, that looks nice, but I don't mind crust on my sandwiches. Yeah. But when you eat this, you totally get it. That extra detail really does help, especially if you're going for the greatest mouthfeel ever, which this delivers. Mm -hmm. Check them out if you're in Calgary. Uh, or if you're somewhere else, check out this type of sandwich. They call it a sando. Yeah. Oh, now let's try our drinks. I'm gonna try the pinkest drink ever here. Yeah, I'm excited for you to try that. Diet Dew is Chris's favorite drink I ever. love Diet Dew and- yeah, I don't know why. So good. It's even better than crab juice. Yeah. My favorite Simpsons episode ever is when Homer, he goes to the stand and the guy is offering either Mountain Dew or crab juice. And Homer, of course, and he's like, picks. Yeah, 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 oh, oh he, I'll take the crab juice. He already takes the crab juice. <laughs> Who the hell wants to drink Mountain Dew? Me. It tastes exactly like I thought it would. <laughs> uh, it's a bit too sweet, and it tastes pink, and it tastes like fake watermelon flavor with a hint of regular Mountain Dew in there. It smells like the uh, watermelon Jolly Ranchers. So I haven't had my coffee yet. Um, Could you tell? <laughs> <laughs> my rbf is in full force today i don't drink coffee so i won't be trying this but what does martina oh. think oh that's good i actually very much like this it's not sweet no it is a tiny bit sweet but it's not overwhelmingly sweet a lot of those drinks that you find like the starbucks ones the frappuccino ones obviously are quite sweet but this is this is very delicious yeah really really good uh, and the coffee tastes amazing. You coffee drinkers have a ton of options and they're available everywhere and... Yeah, must, must, team coffee! Must be convenient. Anyway, I think it's <laughs> disgusting because I don't like drinking dirt in my water. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I... Tr wow. Is that a little bit of a coffee snob trigger right there? Wow. Uh, what did you think of the brand new and improved or the same Shiki Menya? It's a great place. Honestly, our favorite place to go in Calgary for ramen. It, it can't be beat. Um, amazing service every time we go. It was actually nice to sit outside, even though it was a bit cold. Especially hanging out with my best friend. Mm -hmm. I still remember the call. No, you forgot. <laughs> so, it... <Just> joking. <laughs> mm, no. Yeah, so it was really nice and just a great way to start the weekend. And then with these world-class sandwiches on top of it, even better. Yeah. So, Shiki Menya, it's like something out of a movie. Open from 11.30 to 2.30, they make 150 bowls of soup, and if you don't get there in time, too bad. It's lined up out the door, especially on weekdays, and it's, it's everything's made from scratch, and it's just like something out of a TV show or a movie. And uh, no, I've never heard anyone say anything bad about Shiki Menya. That is a world-class place in every way, and I see that they're uh, continuing their great work with mm. the First Avenue Corner Store. So check them out in Bridgeland uh, in Calgary and you will not be disappointed in anything. And those two appetizers we had were both just, oh, it's elite. Like I'm telling you, if they yeah. weren't good, we would tell you. Uh, but everything <laughs> was fantastic. Yeah, we make our uh, likes and dislikes very well known. <laughs> yeah, KFC. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough for that. That's enough. <laughs> that's enough for today. All right. Okay, thanks for joining us and for all your support. It's yes. It's been great. We're over 100 subscribers and climbing, so keep them coming. Keep the comments coming. Please subscribe, and we will see you next time.